Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been one hell of an emotional day. Um, it's a good day, and then it was not a good day, and then we're just cycling all over the place right now, but that's okay. We're going to start leveling out here with this here uh, workout. So I've Today on my new schedule, I have uh, combat and pump, and I I need both of I need both. So I have decided that since I'm using this amazing app now, that I get to I get to try out the Express and all those things that were not available on the Xbox that I was using. Um, Anyway, with that said, I'm going to do a double up of strength and combat number two, because there's only two of them. I believe I've done this before and I didn't like them combined that way because I usually like to do cardio first and then move into strength, but they have them the opposite here. Um, so I might as well try it out. <laughs> I mean, what else am I gonna do? My fan is on in the back. Um, it is nice and cool outside, but for some reason leaving my doors, my door and my windows open, uh, was not letting it cool down in here. It was getting a little hot, so, with that said, I'm going to tackle these two, which is actually broken down to be Body Pump 102 and Combat 68. So, yes. Okay, so, I thought of something I wanted to say and then it went bye-bye. So, I don't remember, doubling my weight. Okay, so as much as I really hate this back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and I need I need to stop saying I need to, and I need, literally need to actually just do it. Uh, it's, it's sticking with things, and I'm hopefully going to be doing that now. I have been sticking with my time that I had scheduled, so that's a good thing. Hopefully I can keep it going. Um, I am going to choose to double my weight. I'm tempted to do 12 and a half on each side, but I think I'm just gonna be really smart right now because I still feel like my left leg is not where it really needs to be. And now, because I'm behind, I need to catch up again. So, here we go. This is where I need, I feel the need to kind of stop and explain a little bit. Not explain, um, well, whatever. I only use tens on each side and I'm telling you, wait you can really get your heart rate up. But I wouldn't be doing a really good justice to you if I didn't tell you what is going on with me. So, this is where I struggle with squats a lot. Not only because my strength in my leg has not, legs, legs, have not returned since my nerve issue was so bad last year. So, this year. Ooh, random, random yawn. But I find that when I'm really focusing on trying to put my muscle strength in my thighs and my butt, which is what you need to do when you're lifting weights, I'm finding it really difficult to attempt to try to tighten my back and my abs to support my discs and 
to also tighten my thighs and my butt because that's important too when you're doing squats of course now the normal person wouldn't be thinking about this but I have to and when I'm thinking about it so much what I'm finding is that even my feet are starting to go numb but it's not a pinched nerve issue they're just it's almost like from carrying so much weight or something <sighs> with that said I really I'm really warning you that if you do and you are attempting to follow what I do or in any way when you have back injury or whatever please be very careful because even though I suggest what I do that doesn't make me an expert at it and I'm not an expert at your body I'm not even an expert at mine but I'm, I'm having a little pain in my disc area but I'm not having nerve issues my feet are kind of you know tingling from being in one spot so long and I guess tightening my muscles so much so I'm just warning you that if, if this is something you're doing 10 pounds might be a lot for you and it's okay to be at fives no these people in these videos aren't lifting that light but who the hell cares as long as you're staying consistent know your body and listen to yourself so I'm, I'm glad I did have this what, almost three minute rest. Um, I'm feeling better now and I'm going to continue with chest. So. I forgot the power press. This chick, this chick is hot. Very, well, she's just really big. I'm still gonna stick with tens. Yep. Not gonna be stupid because my triceps are burning. Uh. crazy already combat's on yes oh man that was a challenge really great challenge but I can feel it all in my back that's for sure I'm so glad I figured out how to do the uh, correct barbell rows Oh. Certainly makes a difference. Okay, I'm gonna take a rest for a minute before I start this here. Come on, I'll be back. All right, so I'm not even gonna remotely act like I'm not kind of worried about this workout after doing the lifting. Kind of bit worried, but I think I'm gonna take my watch off. It's still going to be tracking, but I'll sit it right in front of me. See, because what? See? Still tracking. Salt gravy, baby. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, what am I doing? Press start on the... Thing here. I'm, I'm new to this. Combat stance, boxing guard, hands up.
minutes in that. In six minutes, I burned. How much did I burn? Six minutes, I burned 51 calories. Bam! That's pretty damn good. All right. Alright, this round we're gonna use Taekwondo. How to about you wait for a cardio. fucking second? Oh man! <sighs> oh, excuse me. It's gonna be really straightforward. I think I kind of don't like knowing what's coming next because it tells you on the app yeah i don't like that so i won't look from now it's so bad oh here we go <gasps> what happened no Tiny bit high. I'm exhausted and I have a lot more to go. Jeez. It's an hour workout and I'm only at 38 minutes. I'm only eight minutes into this shit. I don't like doing my lifting first because when I do that it's almost like I'm already like uh, spent but when I do this first I'm already spent doing the lifting but I can go lighter and still get a good burn for me that's my thing I, I don't know if it really matters but I mean I probably would already still break in between these sections but I wouldn't feel the need to quit in the middle of it or pace myself but anyway what do you do just keep doing it
dude is soaked. I've always been a sweater, but not that much of a sweater. Never. I just want to say if you are following me or if you've been following my journey I just want to reiterate that plyo has always been kind of hard for me um I don't think it's really easy for anyone but um I remember at one point in my life I started getting really good at it and then I had a it was about the same time I was getting really good at running and then I totaled my car so Um, I don't like not doing plyo, but sometimes I have to opt to not do it, so I have to modify. Clearly, you see that. Uh, but even on that one, I jump, but I don't jump very far. And for the most part, how people would tell you to modify it is to squat lower um, and, and barely leave the floor, but squat lower. Well, the squat part of the jump is the part that makes my back hurt which is really weird so i can kind of squat and jump and do plyo but i have to be really careful on how i land and all that stuff so there's multiple things that come into play i just found what works for me um depending on how my body feels at the moment so right now it was just not an option to jump high uh, because i didn't want to further aggravate my back from earlier and the those are really tough on the twisting method um, but as my abs get uh, stronger it is easier I will tell you that so anyway with that said it's time for abs and then I'm freaking done yeah So from here, I'm just going to do some stretching on my own and chill. I have definitely burned some calories. Um, I do feel a pull in my left leg slightly, not a lot, but slightly, and my obliques are burning. And any time I somewhat squat, I'm shaking so bad. So that was definitely a good workout. What do I have planned for tomorrow? <laughs> Just step and see how it works. It's no <sighs> Anywho. <sighs> that took me almost an hour and a half to do with all the breaks and breathing. It's so sad. But, you know, if, you're, if your heart rate gets too high, too much, it's not a good thing either. And yeah, so that's it. That's all I got. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Happy working out.